What's up YouTube? So tonight I want to cover my favorite mods for appearance on my 2017 GSXR 1000R. Uh, I've got a list of things I've done in the last three years. I'm going to go over every one of them. A couple of them cross over into the performance category, but they do help with the looks. So anyway, I'm going to go to them. I'm going to roll the intro. Before I do that though, if you want to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe. Keep me motivated. Helps me out. So anyway, I'm going to roll the intro, then I'm going to get back to the start at the rear of the bike and I cleaned it up by fender eliminator I think this is a Graves I'm not 100% sure now I don't remember turn signals removed uh, after a track day I took, had the turn signals off and I like the way it looked I use hand signals anyway so I never put them back all right next thing this is a performance category. I'm gonna need. To, I think I'm gonna add a clip more clarity video on the brake lines and what I think of them. So I added friend Turbo Tubo. I think uh, stainless brake lines. Uh, I bought them used. They were red, and actually, I think the red really sets off the bike with the red R up here. I think it goes good with the blue. All right, next. Another performance mod crossover. The can, uh, I actually have a full exhaust, but if you have seen what the factory cans look like or mufflers in 2017, it is probably the most hideous muffler or stock muffler I have ever seen. Basically, it eliminates, pretty much you can't see any of this. It's so large. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's horrible. All right, next one is rear hugger. This, I thought, really cleaned the rear of the bike up and it definitely just belonged there. I mean, it's one thing I wish Suzuki would not have cut is the rear hugger. Uh, prior to the hugger, when I would ride, I mean, the stock or the um, shock would get mud and it'd get all caked up and now this pretty much has eliminated a lot of that. It still occurs, obviously, but it's definitely not as bad as before the hugger. I think the hugger really cleans that up. And I think this is a concept, yeah, concept wizard. You can check it out on eBay. Go ahead, or he's on Facebook on the one of the groups where he used to be. all right so what next oh these black bolts i made a video early on during one of the maintenance and i don't remember where all these bolts came from where i replaced them but they are on the bike as it sits and you can just move them but if you take a look it really blacked out the side 
I mean, it's I, I really like the look of the black bolts there versus the silver. Hot bodies, flush mount, turn signals. Uh, much better than the US OEM turn signals. Another shot of the brakes if you want to see them from this side. I like the BFF fork look as well. This, I have not found a replacement bolt that works there cleanly and actually lets this float like this one does or has rubber mounting and reuses it. So if you know what replacement in the comments, please give me the part number or what you used. All right, so I think other than tank grips, which were left over from another bike, wouldn't really count that as, as mod as much as just something I did to keep it from scratching up. All right, so if you like this video, like I said, give me a like and a subscribe. And if you have comments or questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.